I think generally we're not a very critical society mm -hmm. as people, so we're not we're not used to scrutinizing information we, we receive against our own kind of objective, uh, carrying out our own, our own objective analysis. We tend to rely on things we know, things we, we automatically believe. Uh, this isn't only a mod, I think it happens everywhere, but we're a very polarized society in terms of political allegiance and political beliefs. And we tend to kind of lean on our, uh, our prejudices, our political prejudices, to verify whether the information we're reading is true or not, or whether it's manipulated or not. And it's always easier to believe information that agrees with your kind of confirmation bias. Mm -hmm. So if you're inclined to believe something and you read something that, that confirms that, regardless of whether it's true or not, you're more inclined to believe it. On the other hand, you're less inclined to believe it if it contradicts what you assume to be true. So we've seen a lot of, I don't know, stories recently about crime rates, for instance. So uh, recently the government um, and criminologists announced that crime rate has decreased. And a lot of people don't believe that because it, it doesn't tally with their, their kind of everyday experience. Now, obviously, if you look at crime rates, there are different ways to look at it. You can say um, people are reporting crime less, for instance, and there are a lot of factors that go into it. But I think as a society, we're not very inclined to kind of think these things through. So we're more inclined to kind of read a headline or, or, or hear a piece of information and just um, kind of see whether it tallies with our, our, our belief, our, our political party, our... our our family history and, and mm -hmm. understand it on that basis.